What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Third Gen Junkies. Chris, you know what it is. Finally off this quarantine shit, been back to work for a couple days. Um, went and did some Christmas shopping last night. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a trip in Old Blue to, uh, gotta go to Home Depot and get some, um, some uh what do you call them gift cards for the family for when i go down to my mom's um for our uncles and stuff like that and get some other stuff for a couple aunts and then we're going to take a trip out to ken Dage's house i got some uh parts i'm going to drop off to him out there some lowering springs for a couple of his vehicles um i've had a lot of stuff stored out there at his house as you guys know i've had um a lot you know purple haze is out there stored um he actually just put purple haze in his barn now um so it's out of the weather so we're gonna go out there we're gonna winterize with purple haze put the battery tender on it uh kind of like the video i did on black magic um and also i'm gonna take the parts out there for the exhaust that need to uh be put on um along with like I said, lowering springs for uh, two of his vehicles. So I have sets of lowering springs that I'm probably not gonna use. I might need to use one set. I can always get sets later on, I'm not worried about it, but he's held me down a lot um, with storing my trailer out there. It hasn't asked me for a dime. Uh, same with uh, having Purple Haze out there, you know, just having my junk out there cluttering up his area i feel bad about it so um and I, he's been wanting to lower these cars and i have lowering springs that are just sitting there doing nothing and like i said i can get lowering springs later on for when the time comes for max because i don't plan on lowering um black magic or um ruby at all um due to the fact that once you lower the car then you have to change your like if your lower control arms your upper and lower pan hard bar um you're changing the geometry of everything so um having like solid state oem style um rear suspension or having um non-adjustable on car aftermarket uh you got to switch all that out to adjustable so that you can actually take it in and get a you know the alignment done on it and have everything adjusted properly so that you know it sits the way it's supposed to that you know your rear end doesn't sit you know your passenger side tire doesn't stick out an inch you know past the fender when you know the driver's side is in an inch you know inside the fender well you know you want it to be right and you want the geometry for your drive shaft and your drivetrain with your transmission and everything to be nice and happy there's no vibrations everything's balanced all nice and good and all that shit so um i'm probably not going to do anything plus to black magic with the lowering aspect because the car already sits low enough as it is and really don't want to drop it any more anymore i might go get a set of um standard greasable um, aftermarket but um, non-adjustable on car LCAs and pan hard bar uh, upper and lower pan hard bar um, just to, you know stiffen up the chassis just a little bit on her car um, same with Hannah's uh, the purple haze car I'll probably do the same with that only because I don't want to lower that car either if any of them are going to get lowered or adjusted it'll be max once the the swap ensues on that um but as of right now i'm basically i'm gonna head to home depot i'm gonna get a, these uh these cards together for uh my family get a few other things real quick we'll head out to ken see him figure out which springs or whatever he wants and wants to use because we got to look up the part numbers and figure out what the drops are on them it might not drop it enough um because he's wanting to do the yellow car and the white car which are both ls swap cars 
Um, one is an iron black and the other one is an aluminum black and the uh, tire gap between the tire and the fender on both the cars in the front are pretty significant. He wants to drop them down so it sits you know, a little more level, a little more even. Um, so basically we're gonna look up the part numbers and figure all that shit out and uh, see what is what and which ones he wants. Whatever's left over, I'll just either sell or I don't know, maybe throw it on Ruby or something because but Ruby is more like a daily driver where I really don't care how the stance is. I don't care what it looks like. As long as it runs and drives and I can have fun in it, I really don't care. Um, Max, on the other hand, with what I'm doing with that, I probably will need drop springs, at least in the front. And I'm also contemplating on going and um, picking up a different rear end. I have a 10-bolt Ford Gen rear end with supposedly, I don't know how true it is because nobody ever opened up the rear end I didn't either um, it's got a stud girdle on it um, but our um, has the rear end girdle on it the, the TA cover aluminum cover um, it's really really clean but supposedly it has 411 gears I know that that rear end isn't gonna last very long behind the power that I'm a you know the power I'm gonna put behind it um, or put to it um, so more than likely I might be making a trip, depending upon how this goes, uh, and the money situation with the cold, me being off for the COVID and trying to save some money for some other things. Um, I might be making a trip to Wisconsin to go pick up a different rear end. It's a 12 bolt rear end, really strong, 31 spline axles, 356 gears, <clears throat> set up for the rear torque arm or for the torque arm style, just like a 700 R4. So, um, but it's a pretty penny. And uh, I mean, it's half of what it would be new if I were to buy it, less than half actually. But, you know, it's like a five hour trip up there, a five hour trip back, loading time, and it's it's gonna cost some money. Um, so I don't know if I wanna do all that right just, just now but I, I don't want to let this deal go. So I'm, I'm gonna see how I can go about doing this. And then I might have to make a trip later on, uh, an hour north and then an hour back home up to McHenry, Illinois to go get some, uh, some uh, tubular parts for uh, any of the cars. It doesn't really matter. It's, they're they're uh, on-car, non-adjustable LCAs and Panhard, uh, really cheap from a buddy. So. Um, so that's where we're at. So I got parts coming in and we're trying to get everything together. But like I said, I'm stuck at a light right now. And once uh, once I get into Home Depot and get all this stuff together and then we head out to Ken's, I'll be back. All right, guys. So we're here at the good old Home Depot. Just got out. Got my uh, $250 gift cards. For my family. Um, they didn't have... The other thing I was looking for, I need to get some hand towels for my aunt. Um, I wasn't really sure if um, Home Depot actually carried hand towels for like, because I went to Menards a few days ago and they had them on sale. It was like buy one pack, get one free. The only problem is, is Menards is like a long ass ways out of my way right now from where I want to go. It's all the way on the other side of town so i was like i'm not gonna go that way um so i think i might just hit up at the dollar store or somewhere and get some hand towels because a lot of my aunts and my mom and some other family members they all literally excuse me they all literally just moved into uh different houses and stuff so you know women always go through hand towels and they clean up stuff and grab a hand towel and clean up a spill and then it's stained and then it goes in the garbage and then so i mean it's normal for for people just people in general not even just women but to run through hand towels so I mean, it's a good good thing to buy especially in the holiday season and usually like i said you can get a get them on sale so um, I'm thinking I might take Orchard all the way down 
normally I jump on Galena and head to Ken's or I jump on the highway and head to Ken's and it's a lot quicker. It takes me like nine minutes to get to Ken's house from, from my house um, off of the interstate. But I think I'm gonna take this down to Orchard 30 down here and go into this Walmart that I haven't been in in like eight years. And I've been looking for these specific IROC Camaro um, Coke they're like specific promo cars or whatever not really promo cars but like i guess it's like it's an irock camaro that has a christmas tree on it on the top of it it's an exclusive like coca-cola you can only get it at walmart um i've been to like three different walmarts around my area i can't find it they also have like a four pack i think it is i think it's like black white red and blue or maybe three i'm not sure i can't remember but um of IROCs, they're called chaser cars, um, and they're exclusive to Walmart only as well. And for some reason, even though they've restocked like the Walmart by my house, and I got a whole bunch of third gen stuff, which never happens. But I went in there one day, and the whole Hot Wheels section I mean, everything was like packed. There was stuff in there that I could, I was looking for that I couldn't find in the past. One of them is a, a 72 Firebird, the uh, the big muscle machine. It's gold and it's got like hooker stickers and high performance stickers on it and whatever. And when I scanned it with the Walmart app um, and see how much it was, it said it uh, currently out of stock, but I had one in my hand. So that means that they hadn't even scanned it into inventory yet. Um, and then last night I went to Walmart and did some shopping and they had another one in there and I almost bought it just to resell because it seems like that those ones are kind of like the harder ones to come by and some of the ones that I've had for a couple years now people are just now coming across and they're like oh my god look at this look what I found and I've had them for years sitting on a shelf and some of them I even bought way back like three four years ago and sold them at profit um, not big profit just a little bit of money here and there but um, because other people were like me and just couldn't get them. Um, I had to drive and go get the, the one car trailer, the black and white one with the black and white IROC on the back of the trailer. I had to drive an hour away. I mean, I had to go that way anyways, go look at a Camaro that I was possibly going to see about buying or Ken was, might have bought, but it wasn't worth it. Um, I had to go down there and buy it from a guy. Normally, he's, uh, you know, he's, I think they're like $17.00. If you buy it in the store and he paid $17 for it and he was selling for 45 plus shipping but he told me if I came down there he'd sell it to me for 25 uh, shout out Jordan Moore thanks for that um, and you know I went down there and I got it so now I got that added to my collection I'm just looking for these other ones and it's like I can't find them in my area I mean I'm in a suburb of Chicago I'm in Aurora you know Aurora there's, you know, Naperville, there's Oswego, there's Yorkville, there's Plano. And for some reason, unless you go down in the middle of the sticks, like, you can't find this stuff. And people are telling me, oh, well, it's because, you know, there are people look, that look for that third gen stuff and whatever, whatever. And no, they're not. There are not that many third gen people around the Aurora area that I know of because I know damn near all of them. I know where all the third gens are sitting. I know where the ones that are for sale. I know where the ones where the people want way too much money and they're gonna sit and rot and then they're gonna become a shit box and then eventually I'll probably buy it for next to nothing and just cut it up and part it out. Then I know where there's some where, you know, I'm gonna get to it one day, I'm gonna get to it one day, I'm gonna get to it one day. You know, and I'm kind of guilty of that too because Ruby's sitting there waiting and Max hasn't even been touched since the day I brought it home. I mean, I brought it home, went through it, looked at it, was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool, blah, blah, blah tarped it and it's been sitting for two years so you know I'm just as bad as a lot of other people but you know some of these cars are, are, are like now are sitting that shouldn't be that I mean are in good standings with no rust issues and if they let them sit two three more years with no cardboard underneath them and no car cover on them yeah they're gonna turn into shit boxes and they ain't gonna be worth a damn and that's why I try to save them or buy them or, you know, or do something, you know, motivate the people to do something with the car. But, you know, it's just like, uh, I don't know, I'm rambling, but it's, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, 
these cars are going up in value and they have a rusty shit box and they want fucking seven grand for it and there's no floor pans there's no motor it's a roller and they say it's clean as hell and you get there and you literally can push the whole driver's seat up like lift it up because the floorboards are so soft and it's like do you not realize that it's like seven hundred dollars just for replacing floor pans and then it's probably another fifteen hundred dollars to have somebody install it the proper way to do it the right way and seam seal it and do it everything the way it's supposed to be done and then you have to put new carpet in and you have to do this you have to do that i mean and and people just think that you know they have these rusty shit boxes that are worth a million dollars and they're not worth that but i'm basically on the hunt for these specific cars and i haven't been to this walmart right here in a while you know, like i said seven eight years or so so i figure worst case scenario i find some hand towels at least i get that done and out of the way i'll take the back way over to ken's house from here and um actually if i wanted to go this way further i could go to the menards and get the buy one get one free uh towels but knowing me i'm just gonna want to go ahead and i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna go straight to the toy section i'm gonna see if i can find the toys that i've been looking for hope and pray that i come across them because i really want the chaser cars and that coca-cola car with the with the tree on the top is the one i've really been after and i've seen a lot of people selling them for crazy amount of money online on ebay and stuff like that and it's it's not worth it i mean a few bucks here and there is okay i mean you spend six dollars on it or whatever but selling it for you know 45 to 75 dollars plus shipping is just fucking ridiculous so i'm gonna run in here check this out if not i might shoot that way to menards because it's not that far off the beaten path it, actually i forgot it was over this way um possibly grab the hand towels from over there for a couple of the family members and then we'll head back this way and go to ken's and see what's going on with him and go bullshit with him so see you in a minute all right guys so i just got out of walmart i didn't feel like running and spending the money and gas what i was spending gas to go to uh freaking uh menards to get the buy one get one free is like four dollars for one pack get the second pack for free i just spent the four dollars per pack because it would cost me that in gas to get there and back anyways so um got the wife a watering can she always runs through those um got my brother-in-law i don't know if this is gonna fit his grill but got him a uh yeah four in one grill cover Hopefully it's big enough that it'll cover it because for some reason all of his grill covers, um, they tend to get thrown into the uh, shed and mice decide to make homes in them and then they're real nasty and then he don't want to use them and we end up throwing them out and just buying them new ones. So got that. And then uh, I got the stupid uh, hand towels and I also got this really cool uh, Billy Chevy 80 uh, Z28 Camaro collectible from the movie Stranger Things. Um, that was the only cool find that I found there. But, uh, yeah, so I just had a message from Ken asking where I'm at. So I gotta get moving and get my ass out there. So I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, they are. 
are. These are way more, way more cushioned. Huh. These things, these things are so much nicer than hers. Surprise. <laughs> the seat wasn't even all the way back. Man, 60 pounds of oil pressure. I know, I can't feel good oil pressure. Fucking temperature is only like 120. Fucking volts way up there. Sitting at 1100 RPM. <laughs> yeah, that means that good stuff's working through it. <laughs> Guess I should spread some of these out, huh? Let's say N64. What's an N64 aluminum spare? Uh, I don't know. Does this thing even have a spare? Yeah, no, it don't. There's a spare in there. There's a tire in there. Is there? Yeah. Huh. Oh shit, dumbass. Let's put the first aid kit back in there where it belongs. Looks like steel to me though. It's got a spare in there, but it looks like a steel one. This thing has been inflated too. Yeah, okay, yeah. <coughs> Bad boys in here. 
Hannah's car booster seat. <laughs> what are these cutout panels for? Whoa, that, that one metal one? Yeah. I think that's for the firewall where um, where it's got a rust space through, yeah, where the seam mm -hmm. is. Like a firewall, yeah. Yeah, that's part of the firewall. I was going to say this, this one all broke out. No, this one's actually... Mm -hmm. All the clips are actually surprisingly intact. Now I do got another good set sitting downstairs, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, because like this is all old parts. I don't know why the hell we hang on to this shit. Old rotor, old cap. It's funny, I sit there and I always say, we should hold on to shit like that just because, you know, in case you need it and back up and all that. And then what do I do? I throw it away. <laughs> What's up? Eh, not stock use shit. Not when it comes like that. Let's see. Hannah's helmet. <laughs> stock air filters, extra freaking what's it called yeah, that's IEC oh, okay. yeah, it definitely looks like a steel rim at least it's got a spare in it <laughs> Now we get to go play, uh, figure out where the hell the, um, what the, what those actual springs are. I can't remember, is this thing actually shut properly? Even though, even though the adjustment's way off. It's this way. As usual, you know, it's... Yeah, this side's real bad. That's from the hinges. The strut's pushing it back. Yeah, see, this one's the real bad. Yeah, most of them are. See, the hinges are bad, bent, or the struts just push this whole deck thing that yeah, way. Yeah, the heat. Right. That's a pretty big gap up here. Look at the size of the gap. That's fucking huge. Well, this one has bent. The hinges are bent. Look at that. I got, got a, a good. In there. I got a good set of hinges at home. I came. I pulled off that eighty. It's even wider on that. The far side. Yeah, that thing's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a, a really nice set that I pulled. That eighty six. They were like perfect. <laughs> yeah, because this was that thing that you you were like, hey, we can use this just to cover up the front, try to get the moisture out of. The that was before we did the window motors. Because remember, both oh, the, right. the windows were down. Yeah, that's right. And we're like, we're trying to keep the water out of it. We got them all the way up except for like this far. Right. Now we're going Fucking dirt. <laughs> Roll the windows up. Yeah, see if they go up. <laughs> Good. Better. They, they better. After all the work we put into this. <laughs> Turn the fucking heat back off. Look at that. Running in there fast. Look how fast that is. It's amazing. <laughs> Should I leave the keys in it? Yeah, it's leaving the ashtray. Yes. It's so solid, man. I can't believe how. Right? It's rust is underneath this thing, man. You know, solid is because... And it don't make any sense. It literally looks like somebody parked it like this in the ditch in salt water on one side. Right. And the other side has barely no fucking rust. Makes no sense whatsoever. Did you see that one car? It was a purple haze car just like this, but it wasn't a Z28. It wasn't a 352 Tumor. It was an RS. And Duan's 12,600. Mm. And it's all 
It's in worse shape than this. <laughs> it's way worse than this. <clears throat> oh, I never noticed that. Dent? Yeah, the dent right there in the door. Oh yeah, I see it now. A little, a little body filler will fix that up or PDR. The uh, stud gun out. Stud yeah. And pull the dent. Kenny was doing that last week to that Trans Am. Oh yeah. Yeah, I need to get some wiper blades for this thing too. There's just door pins. <laughs> I don't know where the front of this thing is. Stretch it out. What's the front and what's the back? Usually there's this label on the front. Here it is. Is that the front? It says budge. Front number three. So, so that's got to be the front. Yeah, so it's got to go like this. It might be one of mine. What's you have a budge too? Yeah, I got a, I got a wolf for super fucking cheap. And then I got a, a budge from somebody. I was, I was buying up car covers left and right. Yeah, this thing. Is... <laughs> oh, that's why. There we go. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah, because remember I had the ropes and the bungee cords going underneath it, uh -huh. and then it fucking, the wind ripped the fucking things clean out, and the mice just decided to destroy the rest. <laughs> Probably. I don't know why the hell I brought you mothballs? I actually, I don't, I hate the smell of them, but I like the fact that you can put it around outside of everything in it. And the fucking mice are like, fuck you. They do work. <laughs> yeah. That is for sure. I made a mistake putting this inside of the trunk of my GTO. <laughs> I'll never run away. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when you get them cheap and like, there's some people like, you know, the what are they, California car covers? Them yeah. things are like super expensive. I've got one of those in a bronze car. Man, them things are like real expensive. And uh, Jeremy Kalinda just got one. Oh, this is it right here. He got one, he paid shipping on it. Yeah, this is a California cover. The fucking mice got it anyway. Didn't have any holes in it when I got it, but now it's got three or four holes in it. Good. Yep. Fucking bastards. Nope, right there, right there, right there. What happened out here? See, and it's funny because this is like the same material as what my wolf feels like. Right. Uh -huh. It's super, super thick. Her thing is, is like, oh, well, it gets dust in it, and then you're dragging it back across the front of the car, and and you know you're scratching the paint, and I'm like, right. I'm like, yeah, but you gotta wash it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not like it's just like wearing your clothes your clothes get dirty what do you do just keep putting them on and keep putting them on and keep putting them on right. then you wonder why you're breaking out and you're getting pimples you're putting dirty ass clothes on what do you expect <laughs> yeah we gotta figure out them springs see what they are what they're not Oh, you're going over to Tom's for dinner? White trash Christmas party tonight. Is that to wait? That's tonight. Get the fuck out of here. Well, you said you weren't going. You had something else going on. No, I thought that I thought it was like the twenty something. We we're out. Of, we're out of town. Like we're going out of town for Mama. Um, the twenty third. We're leaving, and I thought it was like. Fuck, what's today's date? Twelfth. I didn't. Well, I thought it was fucking. I must have the calendar wrong. Right? I must have because that's why I was like, sorry, we can't make it. We got uh, right. prior engagement because we're going. We would have been out of town. Right. Because we even got the fucking uh, the um, what the fuck's it called? Uh, gifts and all that shit. 
And I was like, well, fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna give you guys the gifts just to pass out on our behalf or whatever. And then, shit, I didn't know it's tonight. And you know what, more than likely we won't be able to go unless we bring Hannah anyways. Because of the fact that her, her and her mom, uh, they got into it. So. Who did? Marty. Oh. He's on. What time are we going to town today? Six. Six? Okay. Six. <laughs> oh shit. Kill her. Hello, kill her. How you doing? Give me that move. What's up, guys? So I'm headed back to the house. Um, I didn't realize that there's a, a party tonight that uh, I thought it was a different weekend when I was going to be out of town. Um, we didn't look up the springs uh, for the cars. We're going to do that at a later date because I haven't seen Ken in a while so we're just been sitting there bullshitting. Um, talking about different shit and messing with the Camaro. Purple Haze and all that. So um, yeah, I'm headed home. I'm going to take a quick shower, change clothes. Stop by Walgreens, grab something for the party, and I have a gift already because we do this weird ex gift exchange thing. Um, and that's gonna be about it. I don't know if I'm gonna record the party or not, but uh, yeah. So, like, subscribe, hit that share button, and uh, see you next time. Later. <laughs>